Hi, this is Milan of So Natural Wellness and of the Chic Women Don't Diet program. So into this evening's video, we're going to be talking about how to navigate through menopause with grace, elegance, and style using food. So one of the things that I recognize with all of my clients and um, is that as we get older, you know, things just start to not work quite right in your body anymore. And, and some of those changes is really when menopause starts to happen. And if you're a woman like myself over 40, then more than likely you are either getting ready to go through this process of perimenopause, and then you are going, or you're already in the process of going through the symptoms of menopause. And one of the things, the things that I found is that for a lot of women, they can go through menopause with no problem whatsoever. But then there's a lot of other women that have major problems. They have such a hard time coping through menopause from the night sweats to the hot flushes during the day to irritability, um, loss of libido. So there's so many problems that a woman body starts to go through as she starts to transition and make this change in her life. But yet the thing about it is this is the best time of our life. This is the time of our life when life is exciting for us. We have did a lot, you've probably raised children, you've traveled, you've excelled in your career. You're just looking forward to an easy stage of life, which is why this video is really important today because in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I have found to help me to navigate through menopause with grace, elegance, and style by using food. And one of the things that I'll tell you is that when I did start going through menopause, it just it wasn't easy for me. I was one of the women who it wasn't easy for. I didn't transition nicely. I didn't, you know, have it easy. I had a hard time. I had a hard time through from perimenopause until I got to menopause. But then something happened along the way. The one thing that happened along the way, and I'm going to tell you this. The one thing that happened was I stumbled upon something that helped me and that one thing that helped me was when i started integrating plant-based foods into my lifestyle i'm not vegan i'm not vegetarian i love meat but i noticed the more i introduced plant-based into my diet the better my life became the easier my symptoms were to deal with so i'm going to share with you one of my favorite recipes this evening because Many of the foods that you can actually eat that will help you to navigate through menopause, it happens to be the eggplant. And I love the eggplant because the eggplant is, the one is purple, it's very colorful, it's a very happy vegetable. Um, it's just so bright, it's so beautiful, it's, it's large. <laughs> but it's a bright, beautiful eggplant a vegetable that just looks really good it looks good in the market you bring it home it still looks really good to me that's just one of the most elegant vegetables that you can possibly eat and another thing about the eggplant is that it takes on uh, a flavor of whatever you want it to take on and i and i love that a vegetable that has versatility so that's what i'm going to be sharing with you today so i have with me i have did a lot of my prep work already because I didn't want you to be on this video along with me. So beauty about eggplants, what I love and using it with as in menopause is that it has my phytonutrients. And because it has phytonutrients, this is a plant uh, base. It has plant-based estrogen. And this estrogen acts the same way the estro estrogen acts in our body. You know, that's really a tongue twister. I never thought about the word until now, but it's such a tongue twister. So the plant, the estrogen, the plant, the eggplant has estrogen, estrogen in it. I love that. And it just works with your body in a very natural way. And a lot of women are looking for natural remedies to help them in this time of the year. So I'm going to be sharing with you mine. So what I'm working with first is, and here is my glass bowl that I'm working with. So the first thing what I'm going to do right now is I have prepared a delicious sauce. And this is, uh, I really like to call this a raw sauce because I didn't 
cook this. I usually typically cook my pasta sauces, but this one is um, tomato pulp. So I use my immersion blender and I blend it up fresh herbs. I always use fresh herbs, especially if I'm not going to be cooking something for a long period of time. So because I didn't cook this, this is just uh, fresh herbs of lavender, um, not lavender, but basil, um, rosemary, thyme. I have a little bit of uh, tarragon in here as well. So I use that and this is the base of my sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and first I'm just going to put some on the bottom because when I'm making this eggplant recipe this is going to be eggplant terrine so an eggplant terrine is an amazing amazing a beautiful dish so um, because eggplants another things that it does it helps us because um, it helps to if you're suffering from hot flashes it helps to reduce hot flushes in the body it also helps to reduce any vaginal dryness in your body and it also um, helps to relieve any other issues that you're having with your stomach because of the fiber on the eggplant the fiber helps to reduce and minimize any bloating that you may have in your stomach and a lot of women who are in menopause do suffer from bloating and it's typically it's because your body has changed and a lot of the foods that you're eating should also be adjusted as well. And I'm not saying that you need to go plant-based 100%, you have to go vegan. If that's not your thing, don't make it your thing. Because listen, darling, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not my thing. I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian. I love a juicy steak done right. I love a juicy steak, I love fish, I love chicken, mm, kind of, but I love a lot of foods. I'm a culinary nutrition and wellness chef, so of course I love food. So I'm going to, I put my tomato sauce in here. And next thing I'm gonna do is take my eggplant. Now you can grill these, I roasted mine, but you can definitely grill, usually in the summer when it's hot outside, I would definitely uh, grill these things up. I would slice them, slice them the long way, and then I would definitely grill them. So I'm going to take this, and I'm sort of doing a layering effect on my this is my sauce so i'm going to put my eggplant down so you can actually see this through here so my sauce there's my eggplant i'm also going to use i have some roasted uh, red pepper that i already roasted so i'm going to take this and i'm going to put it right on the top um, i have some uh, parsley that i um, shock and blanch it's basically a technique of i quickly cooked it and then I put it in some cold water to stop the cooking process because I still wanted to preserve the phytonutrients in it. I wanted to preserve the green colors. Um, we don't have a lot of, typically most women I find don't include a lot of greens in their diet, but parsley, fresh parsley is definitely uh, greens that you should be including in your diet on a daily basis as much as you can. So these are not cooked, so I'm putting that in there. And then I'm going to, I have some fresh mozzarella. Um, I feel that mozzarella should be a name. If I had a child, I would probably name her mozzarella. Um, I don't know, I just love that. So we're gonna take some mozzarella and open it up. We're gonna take that and put it on the top as well. You can break it up however you want to. This doesn't have to be neat going in, but it should look pretty on the outside. So we're gonna take that, like that, and then I'm gonna take some, um, I'm gonna take some um, more sauce and put it on. Just a little, not a lot. And then I'm gonna put my next eggplant on. I left this in on because I was kind of wanted to keep it looking a certain way. And then you just start that process all over again from the red pepper to, I'm not going to put my, uh, you know what, I'm just going to put some basil in there um, to my parsley. Um, you may want to squeeze some of the water out before you put it on. and. Put your parsley on top. Put some more cheese on there. 
this is beautiful if you are lactose then i would definitely say you can substitute and perhaps use a yogurt cheese um but i i i cook for my taste and my taste i don't have a problem with dairy um i went to france no problems so if you do then you definitely have to do you but the beautiful thing about cooking is that you can pretty much make whatever you want to eat. And this is what I wanted to eat. But at the same time, I wanted to show you that eating in menopause, adding in more vegetables can be very easy to do. And, plant, and adding in plant-based foods would be an excellent way. And I find a lot of women, they get thrown off when it comes to eating uh, more vegetables in their in their diet, getting more vegetables in, they tend to miss out on that that part of um, living. They just don't. So I feel as you get older now, it's really a good time to start to integrate more foods. So you see how I'm just layering this on top, and this is really pretty if you see from the side there. So I find that we just don't eat enough vegetables uh, because we tend more women tend to eat a lot of starchy foods which is not good if you're in menopause it's just not good in general especially if you're watching your weight or you're trying to keep your size down so i find that including a lot of plant-based you have to be conscious of it when you work a lot if you're an empty nester and you're working a lot um, is or you're an entrepreneur you work a lot you're a businesswoman career woman, I just find it's often difficult to start to integrate a lot of new foods because we just, number one, don't have the time. But there's a skill involved. There's a skill in techniques and know-how. And once you know have the know-how and the technique, the rest, <laughs> baby, it's easy peasy. Um, you can do it. So it's, technique can go Technique trends in across everything. Everything that we cook, there's technique and there's, everything that you do has a system. Once you know the system, then you can always do the exact, duplicate the same thing and it'll always come out the same way. So this is a system, I have laid out a system to help you to navigate through menopause easy without all the stress. And the one way to do that is by eating amazing delicious food so i'm going to top this with my last eggplant now you can melt it you can put this under heat if you want to it's up to, completely up to you in the summer i don't because i just find that i don't have to so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get some of this stuff out of my way and i'm going to cut this right here you can cut it inside we are going to cook together. I want you to join me in my cooking class. And I've included the link below. Um, my spatula here. And separate that a little. And then this, because this is how I'm going to eat it. This is my, hmm, it's really good. Really, really delicious. This is going to be my dinner tonight. This is plant-based, so I don't have to worry about too much sitting on my body. And I'm just going to drizzle some sauce across it. Just like that. I'm going to put some fresh basil on top. Just like that. Whatever you're eating, definitely make it pretty always make it pretty your eyes are one of the one of the parts of your body that start to eat first i want to invite you i want to invite you to come join me in my life in my live class and this right now you're, you're gonna love this so i want to invite you to come join my live class i've included a link below this video check out the link and um the, the name of this class is color me beautiful gourmet cooking and wine chic shop so this is the color me beautiful chic shop 
gourmet food and wine cooking class. This is a one night only. So I, I really want you to join me in this class. We're going to have so much fun. As you can see already, it's <laughs> food is fun and it's not so serious for me. So um, this is it. This is what I'm having for dinner. Um, it's elegant. It's beautiful. It's tasty. You know what? Let's get a fork right now and taste this. I didn't take a picture of this, but it's okay. We're going to take pictures. We're going to be eating together. Um, I will show you how to dine elegant and we will do this thing. So this is going to be a beautiful class. It's going to show you how to navigate through menopause with chic elegance and style through food. So here, let's go on and try this. Um, I'm thinking of a beautiful, delicious bottle of red right now that I would love to just dive into with this delicious food. So let's go. Mm. Mm. Of course, we're on camera. We get club. We get red sauce on us, but I don't care. This is so good. When food is good, you. Mm. This is the thing I love about the Asian culture. They make noise when they eat to show the host that they appreciate the food. Well, I love to hear someone make noise when they're eating my food. So now you can see how easy it is to navigate through menopause with grace and elegance. And I want to show you how. So I look forward to welcoming you into my class. And I hope you enjoyed this episode this evening of navigating menopause with grace and elegance and style using food. And until our next time together, darling, stay beautiful and healthy.